Pang- ito yung ma- sa pang gusto kong ma-interview niya, quantum software developer, di ba? <laughs> Wa, well, bihira lang tayo baka ka doon yeah, dito. Yeah, yun talaga, ah. sobrang, sobrang bihira. <laughs> Actually, yun din yung gusto ko rin i-dwell eh, yung quant- uh, quantum co- computing, which is, it, involve, it also involves quantum physics. Kasi mag-aaral ka lang ng ano dyan eh, parang, well, basically, basically, concept kasi ng quantum physics, ina-apply pa na siya sa, compu- sa machines eh. So, more like, mag- mag- Particle, uh, so basic kasi particles. Sa computing kasi, ang yung measurements mo na doon yung transaction na. Yung encryption, yung deep side of it. Uh, so, uh, ano pala? Eh, uh, shoutout pala kay Sir Geoff. Ang dami niya ano eh. Uh, yeah, so, shoutout so, boss. Sa, <laughs> ikaw ko. Very, very helpful yung mga insights niya. Yeah, so, super. Super helpful then. Thank you. Thank you, Brad, for that. Yeah, super helpful. I well, hopefully one day we'll get for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As, and yeah, I think Maram and Dina will talk to you. That's what you thought. Yeah, that's one thing. That's one thing. Next session, sama, sama ka na. <laughs> oh, ma. <laughs> para mas ano, mas, uh, mas solid. Mag ano tayo, parang panel talk or panel talk. Panel talk tayo or something, yeah. Try na naman, yeah. Okay. So far, sino po yung pinakapalupit na hacker na nakuling na nasa work na? Wala pa ako nahuhuling hackers. At hindi ako nang huhuli. <laughs> uh, ibang ano, ano i- ano Anonymous naman sila, hindi naman sila, ano, di ba? Oo. Pero, hindi ako, ibang usapan kasi yun eh. Ibang feel gagawa doon sabi ng cybersec yung mga huli ka. I think, and I forgot which department it is. Yeah, pero may may may, may ganong area na na part of cybersecurity na once na matrap mo yung ganitong person, pwede kang magpatawag ng police. Tapos yung tawag, maling tawag. Pero sa site ko, wala. Hindi ako. Uh, hindi, alam ko hindi kami allowed to do that kasi may ibang pack, may ibang features. If I remember, if my memory serves right. <laughs> Matagal na rin kasi na nakakwento sa amin to. So, that was really bad. <laughs> may tanong dito. Ito, ito pinaka-controversial na tanong sa, sa gabing to. <laughs> ano? In terms of sahod, <laughs> Worth it. Okay, go. Worth it go. Worth it naman ano, ang, ang cyber security. Ito talaga. <laughs> ano, ano, uh, in terms of sakon? Worth it ba daw ang cyber security? Tanong ni Dean. <laughs> sa Pilipinas, depende sa company. <laughs> depende. <laughs> Kung siguro ang sakon mo na sa 60, 70, tapos uh, somewhat junior ka, pwede na. Not bad. Not bad na yun. Pero ako sa ibang bansa, eh, sa ibang bansa ka kasi pag pumunta ka doon at doon ka nag-work, sure ako mataas ang sahod mo doon. Sure ako doon. Sure. 100% sure ako doon. Ano pala, um, in terms of uh, work uh, setup, usually ba talaga kailangan on-site or pwede siyang remote? Uh, as much as possible, on-site talaga. Lalo na kung ang hawak mo, fintech. Fintech that includes banks. Sabi ni Sir Joko, it's As, worth it daw. <laughs> yes, worth it talaga. I would, I would say. Don't decrease yung sound doon. Like, dude, papa, parang gusto mo na tumira doon. Sa <laughs> sobrang... Ah, eto. Yeah. One time, eto, There was a time na ay, parang nakabikiisyon ako, kagaga, kagagaling ko lang ng... Hindi, hindi naman bitch yung nangyari pa. Ito yung madalas na nangyari sa akin. Pag galing ako sa bakasyon, eh, pa, pag nakabakasyon ako, minsan nagkakaroon ng issue. <laughs> like, pag nakabakasyon ako, ha? <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, bigla, bigla may tatawag sa mga co-workers mo, like, dude, patulog kasi ganito ka yun. I was like, oh, no. 
<laughs> oh no, I hate this. Pero, na tayo magagawa eh. Yan talaga. Super painful. Um, good question kay Arnold. Right. Last question na siguro para makapag-wrap up na tayo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 10.28 na yun. Uh, eh, 11.28 na, yes. Uh, Sige, t- nilasangan natin itong dalawang to. <laughs> Sige, yung kay, kay Dina Chaka yung Oregon. Sige. Kay Oregon muna. May mga levels din ba sa pagiging cybersec like them? Junior, senior, and uh, chuchu. Uh, ang level sa cybersecurity usually is this. L1, service desk. L1 service desk sila yung nagtitiket. So, primarily, they will handle uh, ticket. Uh, they will create tickets. They will also analyze it. Kung threat issue ba siya or malware, uh, product issue siya. So, ganun. Then, after nun, papasa na sa L2. L2, analyze. So, analyze. We're in. Ang gagawin niya is this. Si L2, siya, siya na yung mag-a-analyze no, no threat. Huwag mag, mag-co-conduct na kami, particularly sa L2 ako. Eh. Ito yung linya ko. Eh. Uh, particularly, ito yung mag-ano ka na, threat hunt. Ikaw na yung, mag, ikaw na yung mag-establish ng facts dun sa based sa ano, findings mo, may findings ng threat, or what. So, ikaw yung magdedetermine kung uh, totally threat ba siya or kailangan siya ilipin pa sa product, something like that. Kasi, ito yung magdedetermine pa. Ikaw yung mag-establish it. Now, on the event na may malware na tumama sa machine, kasi hindi na kinahin na L2 support, eh, sorry, L2 cybersec uh, analyst, na iyan at uh, i-troubleshoot or anything else na kaila- hindi po kailangan na about reverse engineering or kundi na yung mismo mal. This, this is where L3 comes in. Siya na yung mag-ano. Siya na yung mag-act. Siya na yung mag-gagawa ng troubleshooting for uh, siya na talaga yung mag-ano. Mag-conduct na siya ng incident response sa kinatawa. Siya na yung pupunta sa kliyente on site to troubleshoot things. And siya na yung maglilinis. If ever na hindi kinaya. So, yun. Yun yung basically yung level. Pero, it, uh, hindi siya necessary na role. Or, kasi sa, sa work ko kasi, panta- equal opportunity yung sa amin. Yung treatment. So, doesn't matter kung L1 ka, pwede ka magawa ng L2 work basta, ka, basta gusto mo. Kung gusto mo magawa ng L2 work, fine. Kahit L1 ka, fine. Gusto mo mag L3 work, kahit L1 ka, fine. The, 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 the opportunity is yours. As long as you're willing to learn, you're willing to uh, dedicate every day just to keep concept, keep concepts of it, like to learn the concepts, and that's the pasensya mo, kailangan taasan. Yan. Kasi, kailangan mo mag mag-forensics ka dyan eh, pag nag-eltric eh. Tapos, mag, kailangan mo rin mag Since mag-establish ka ng facts, kailangan mo ng pasinsin ng research yan. Like, literally. Literally, you need to do some research. And then, kay din naman, ga, uh, as ko na, gano'ng katagal ma-resolve yung pinakamakitis na malware na encounter ko? So far kasi, wala, in my entire years of CyberSec, wala pa akong client, uh, wala pa akong nakikita yung tipong na-infect, na-infect ng malware talaga yung mga machines nila. Ang madalas kasi na-handle ko na incident. Poof email. Kung this poof email, user impersonation. Which is it took a day to finish all of those. Like from the start to finish. Like from analyze, analyze yung facts, tapos yung recommendations, apply, apply not, kinawa siya yung content. Unless otherwise, uh, nagkaroon ng DDoS, nasira ang machine. Yeah, or server. Tapos yung server. So, yeah. yeah. I think that's, yeah. It. that's it. Grabe. So, daming, uh, daming, daming natin tatutunan. So, yeah. siguro ano na lang, um, last words, uh, advice so, to anyone Who's, uh, who's really interested into getting into cybersecurity? 
Okay, so here's my uh, advice, especially sa mga, well, applicable to sa non-tech at saka tech people. So, nabit ba ng cyber sec? At uh, siguro, follow nyo lang tayo types. One is, make sure that your heart is leaning sa cyber security. Leaning, leaning talaga yung sumutan. Second is, if you're leaning to cyber security, you are willing to sacrifice your time, your, uh, yourself, and your, uh, call this, your career, current career, just to make sure na pag-pay, na pakapag-try ka sa cyber security. Literally, you need to sacrifice those. You're willing to. You need, you need to actually. If ever, if you want, if you really want. Third is, even if uh, sabihin mo magaling ka na, always remember may mas magaling sa'yo at matuto ka sa kanila. Pangapat, uh, be kind. Be kind to yourself and other people. Be kind. Huwag mo pahirapan yung sarili. Huwag mo, huwag kang maging hard sa sarili. Kung kung sumo mag yung kung sumo talaga mag aral ng cyber security and sumo talaga mag switch pero you're doing drastic steps yes it may be applicable to you pero sa iba kung hindi ka ganon ka sanay iso stress nito nito kasi yung problem din pag tumama sa iso stress yung cyber security possible na yung sanity mo mawala possible Lalo na kung nag-resolve ka, nag-resolve ka ng cases, tapos out of nowhere, big luck. Na wala ka ng turning sa wala. It's too bad. And fifth, uh, make sure, learn how to communicate properly, and if you're gonna, uh, and apply what you learn. Kasi at the end of the day, uh, inas sa'yo yan, o yung growth mo, Diyan ka lang ba? Magiging stagnant ka lang ba dyan? Or you have, you really want to level up your world. So, I think pinak- bonus to, bonus to, na yung kanina pa namin hinahilit ni Quedev earlier, if you're going to take certifications, make sure you need to study it seriously. Don't do certifications not because of the numbers. It's useless. Do, certif- do the certifications because Not only because it is it is a need for that sa kapat, but because you need to practice it. Practice it in such a way that when you gain an experience on, the, on that certain uh, certain uh, tool or certificate on or lessons from that certification, you'll be able to apply it elsewhere. Even even if you're, you're gonna apply abroad or here, you can you can use that. what you learn, you can even ace the interviews or casual, casual sessions. So that, and you may be able to sh- uh, give back then sa community. Isa ka nang yan. So, and don't be afraid to shift if you're really, if you're hot, really, uh, if, you, if you really want to shift. Just do it. Yan lang. And, Uh, I'm brewing. Uh, uh, maybe I'm planning to create a podcast oh, about nice, cybersecurity. Nice. Yeah, yun naan tay ko. Tatanong ko na sa sa ano dapat yun eh. Pero sige, yeah. go go go. I posted. I posted something on Facebook where and I'm trying to gather the topics that I really want that I want to discuss aside to aside on cybersecurity. It's more like the reason I want to create a podcast is it is because I really want. to make sure that people nowadays will be aware of the benefits on on cybersecurity plus aware, security awareness na din sa mga top. Especially, karamihan din ang mga Gen Z and, peep, and other peeps are vulnerable na, on, are vulnerable on cyber attacks. Nice. Even today. Mas mabalala ang cyber attacks right But I I'm not sure when when will I be able to do it because I have I'm working full time. Yeah, yeah. I have to. <laughs> let's let's see. But yeah, I'll definitely I'll dedicate some time for it. So yeah. Nice. So yung magiging topics just more on practical, you know, uh, pra- uh, 
advice about cybersecurity? Yeah, pra- practical advice on cybersecurity or even in those. Mm. Even in life. Nice, nice. But, kasi, actually, kasi, honestly, uh, kaya rin na, uh, actually, pwede ko rin, ano, pwede ko rin ikweto din doon yung like, journey ko sa so, cybersecurity. Let's see. Kasi, nakapag-talk na rin ako sa TIP before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, about about shift but from them going to cybersex. So I think I might be able to share some advice on that. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Abang namin so yun. yeah, and request ko sa mga nandyan niya yun, sa mga people and mga palas earlier. Help me to give topics that na tingin nyo I can discuss hindi mo sa kaya ko i-discuss. Tingin nyo dapat may relay siya sa tao. Yung tipong ma... dapat siya i-discuss publicly through podcast mm-hmm. para at least I can address it as, uh, the best I can to the point na I'll make it sure na simple uh, na magiging layman's term siya. Kasi ako yung may pagka-technical person so kapag yeah. nag-explain na ako ng technical stuff pa dire-diretso na so mga di di nyo na ako yeah di nyo na ako maintindihan <laughs> yeah paano ka nila ma-reach if ever na ano na, um, uh, yeah, so wait, let, sessions okay let me hold up that way so I have my personal Facebook page so you can uh, you can message me on this or actually I have ano eh uh, Uh, tawag, tawag. Pero din ako Facebook page uh, page din na so page po to ito. Post ko lang din. So. Sige, go, go. Yeah, your first one is yan yung personal account ko. So you can message me there. And you can message din sa Facebook page ko page po to ito. Kasi yung uh, actually page po to ito na to Facebook page ko. Gaming, uh, gaming, ano talaga siya. Nagsistream uh, din ako ng games dyan eh. Okay. Pero, I might plan, I might shift into podcast, podcast page. I don't know. Basta, uh, abang na lang eh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, pa-follow ko na to. Yes, thank you, thank you. Follow nyo rin guys yung, ano, yung page ko. If, ano, I'll try to post, I'll try to be active again on Facebook, on Facebook. Baka dyan ko rin i-post yung mga recordings. Eh, yung recording na itong session na to. Baka. Baka dyan. Hopefully. Yeah. Siguro, before we wrap up, ano lang, uh, some announcements lang for the community. So, we will be having our first uh, meetup. For, uh, first person-to-person meetup for this year sa April 30 sa Eton Centuries sa May Quezon City. Um, I think may uh, ano muto ko niyo station dun eh may station na yes, an avenue ah uh, uh, yeah 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 kaya san avenue sa station yun so tumbok siya don pagbaba niyo dun na yun so yeah kita kits dalan tayo if you have time uh, it's around 2 to 5 pm if ever na may mga gusto magstay maginom pwede rin but uh, yeah uh, para lang ano sa mga gusto ng sumama So, yeah. Yes. Pinakamasaya doon yung inuman talaga. <laughs> 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 yung, yung ano doon, yun yung pang, pang engganyo. Kasi kinabukasan, walang pasok, di ba? Kasi may one. So, Labor day. Labor day. <laughs> Sakto yun. Inom, Labor day. <laughs> so, yeah. um Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pidge. Sobra. Uh, Hello. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. Th- thank you, kay, yeah, lalo na kay Sir Joff. Uh, sa mga sa assistance niya sa comment section sa chat um, yeah April and, 30, 30 yung meetup oh, yeah April wow. 30 yeah yeah kung makakapunta kayo let's uh, no, let's go there wala naman may nagtanong eh about the topic wala naman tayong topics usually sa mga ganon kasi it's generally more about shifting di ba career shifting sharing lang ng na mga al na mga na mga experiences and everything so I invite everyone to to attend So, saan ka ba, Glenn? <laughs> Iniisip ko sa iba rin eh. Pero depende kasi sa, ano eh, sa layo. Depende rin. Pero pagka may chance tayo, bakit hindi, di ba? 
Ha Dubai. <laughs> Malayo ka talaga. Wala tayo. Dubai, ka- let's go. <laughs> dadayo, dadayo na lang kami. Mm. Ever. 